Hi everyone, it's Val with Dragonfly Crystals and by popular demand uh, I asked and am honored to be able to present uh, channeling a message from Sananda who is known as Jesus on the earth. Uh, Sananda is his ascended name but it's still that same huge, loving, unconditionally loving energy uh, that we all have touched in our lifetimes. And I've called his energy in um, to uh, help present this, and it, I'm emotional. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Thanks for coming. Uh, so without ado... I will begin this channeling of Ascended Master uh, Sananda, who is known as Jesus on Earth. And uh, uh, then after, I'll talk with everyone. Um, so he begins the channeling with, or his message with, Hello, dear hearts. It is wonderful to see you. In this timing on Earth, you will be going through some difficulties across the world. Know that this too shall pass. Do not attach to results, but place your faith in divine source to bring forward what needs to occur for the evolution of the planet and humanity. We are with you as you traverse this timing, this time period lending you a shoulder to lean upon and a hand to guide you. You have only to bring us into your awareness, and you will know by the synchronicities of events which will unfold in your life that we are with you. You are deeply loved. You have chosen this moment to be upon the earth in this monumentous period of Earth's shifts, not only in planetary cycles, but in humanity's evolution. I promise you this, you will never be alone. You will be guided. You will be guided by a team of angelic beings and guides. I'm sorry. It's just the energy is really overwhelming. Simply begin communicating with them, your guides and angels. Ask for help when you need it. It is their mission to assist you. The great central sun is shining upon the earth and all the radiance and higher energies are being freely released to earth in the evolution of the earth and humanity. There may come a time when you will be called into service. It may be someone in line at a star or someone driving next to you. You will be called to be an earth angel to them and show them extreme love and kindness, even if it does not come back to you in this instance. Because the gift of what you are giving has untold implications and measurements within that person's life that you will never know. But have faith, that act of kindness will set a new course for the person you showed extreme kindness to. You 
will not have to go looking for this person or event, for it or they will find you, and you will be the catalyst of change for them in a new way of being. A small act, but larger than you can imagine in its echoing and reverberation in that person's life. We wish to see and know your divine source beauty. We wish you to see and know your divine source beauty, the oneness within your heart and soul. This is who you are, one with divine source, as we, as are we all. When I said, I and the Father are one, it is true for every spiritual being who has incarnated upon this planet. Shift your awareness to the oneness with all life, for divine source resides within every cell of your bodies. I come in love and peace. I bring energies of the Christ consciousness that is the soul's knowledge that oneness with divine source is our natural state of being. Bring this awareness into your body. Pull the white light in and breathe it into your heart. You are whole. You are your awareness. Now go forth in full remembrance of your divine source and actualize it within, within you while upon the planet now. I will leave this message as a roadmap for you when you feel overwhelmed. Remember who you are. You and the Father are one. We are all one with the Father, divine source, all that is. Allow your remembrance of this. All will be well. You are loved completely. We embrace each and every one of you with deep love. You are precious and unique. Know this. Where your treasure is, there your heart also lies. Treasure your oneness with all that is divine source that resides within every cell of your body. This is my message to you with unconditional love. I wrap you in the energies of deep divine love. This is Sananda, known as Jesus on earth. <laughs> so, man, I could have just started sobbing. I pulled his energy in and asked him to assist me to bring the message. That may have been a mistake because... <laughs> It just made me want to cry. It's just, I have such a connection and always have that, that just, well. So I wanted to go back and talk about when he says we, I get that he is saying your angels, guides, the great white brotherhood, which is the great white light brotherhood, the council of light, those in the angelic and heavenly realms, are wishing this for us. Um, oh. <laughs> hi, Nancy. Hi, Cloud. Hi, Samantha. Shaw Women. Gina. I'm glad you could join me. Um, man, I'm glad I didn't start openly sobbing. <laughs> it was hard, really hard there for a minute <laughs> because I, I'm sure you all know Jesus and his ascended name is Sananda. I think all of us light workers have at some point known his energy personally, and it can be so profound. <laughs> so I feel so honored that he came through. And he had that beautiful message for us. And I think we all need to know that we have people, beings, who are 
not in this earth school who are watching over us and can assist us. And he did give us a heads up that we would be called probably to step in and do these random acts of kindness that may be, you know, difficult in some way for us. <laughs> but pull ourselves together and know that these might be coming forward. And I think when he talked about the shifts that could happen in these other people's lives, I think back to things that have happened to me and I responded to other people with the most, I just purposely opened my heart and responded with the, as much divine love as I could. And that person came back to me and told me, they just told me how bad their day had been and how awful it was. And, you know, they were so sorry. And I feel like they would have gone home if I use my, clear cognizance, they would have gone home and had, you know, some war with their family over something their family wasn't at fault over because he was having a bad day. But I diffused the situation, not purposely, but I was put in a situation. I knew it was my higher guides and angels putting me there. So I know exactly what they're calling you to do. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's, it's just something you have to step outside, look at the situation, and just come from your unconditional heart. So, <laughs> Nancy, all the gummies, I had my gummies, vitamins this morning. They aren't vitamins for real, but I did have my gummies this morning. <laughs> because, you know, a girl has to have some rewards. <laughs> The only gummies powerful enough for this are in Colorado. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, I used to live in Denver. Actually, I lived in uh, Littleton, just outside of Denver, for a couple of years. In fact, my son was born there, one of my sons. So I, I did enjoy it because snow would just fall and then like the next day it magically melt away. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure right now it's not like that, but um, <laughs> oh man, you guys. So anyway, uh, I think next we'll, we'll do Babaji because there was uh, some response for Babaji, who is another one of those beautiful ascended masters that I have personally worked with. And I love Babaji's energy. Just he he's an amazing being. So we'll call him in next. And then I think um, it was um, Heather of Indigo Jaguar Crystal um, Intuitive Arts who mentioned she'd like... Um, Mother Mary, or um, the, oh, I can't remember all of them, but <laughs> I'll have to look it up. But that Mother Mary was on top, the Mother Mary energies, which is the beautiful energy of the Divine Mother that we all, you know, embody that encapsulating, peaceful, you know, nurturing, you're completely loved kind of energy no matter what you're their child it's like that kind of feeling um so anyway that's it i have delivered sananda's message known as jesus on earth and uh, thank you all for stopping by and if you don't have any questions you can again let me tell you you can go to ali's heart and soul connected and at some point she'll have a presentation of Jesus, who is now Sananda. Um, and you can learn more about his lifetime and, you know, what he does right now. So I think that's fantastic that she's presenting those. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for stopping by. Mwah. Love you all. Bye.